hi welcome back in the previous video i have discussed how can we handle the exception in java with the help of uh, try and cache blocks also i have discussed how can we use multiple number of cache blocks and finally block while handling exceptions in java in this video i will discuss how to handle exceptions with the help of uh, throws and throw keywords in java this is the example what we have considered in the previous uh, example. The link for that video is given in the description below. In this case, uh, there are two set of statements which may generate or behave unusually. Um, for example, uh, c is equal to a by a divided by b. If the value of b is equal to 0, it will generate an arithmetic exception. So because of that, we have put these particular statements into try block and there is an associated cache block whenever there is an exception this cache block will be executed here and uh, it will give you a proper message to the user saying that this is the problem you have to handle this particular thing properly now uh, we will try to see how can we use throws keyword in handling exception throws is a keyword in java which is used in the signature of the method to indicate that the particular method might throw one of the listed type of exceptions so what we do here is uh, whenever we define a method along with this particular definition we will use this particular throws keyword and we will list out all those particular exceptions this particular method may throw for example uh, if we feel that this particular method will throw arithmetic exception we will put that part particular arithmetic exception here if this particular method uh, may throw we can say that uh, illegal access exception we will put that particular thing if a particular method is going to uh, throw uh, multiple number of exceptions we will put all those particular exceptions over here now that is the first part of uh, this particular throws keyword the second part is uh, if you have used these particular exceptions uh, list in this particular throws keyword you should have an associated uh, try and cache blocks whenever wherever you have called this particular method for example uh, if you have added only one exception here you should have try and associated cache block if you have more than one exception listed here uh, you should have a try block but uh, you should have more than uh, uh, can say that one cache block for each of the exceptions you should have a separate cache block in that case we'll take a very simple example to understand this particular concept in this case i have created a class called as exception throws and then within this i have added one method the name of the method is fun here it will accept two parameters both of them are of integer type after this particular method signature i have added throws keyword and then one arithmetic one exception is listed that is arithmetic exception in this case now i have calculated the value of c uh, is equal to a divided by b and i have printed the value of c here if there is no error or if there is uh, no exception in this case the value of c will be printed and then it will uh, halt the program without any exception in this case but if the value of b is equal to 0 here what happens is it will generate an exception because this particular method will generate an exception what is the exception it can generate arithmetic exception wherever we have called this particular method we have to have a try and cache block to handle that particular exception so in the main method I have called this particular fun method with 10 comma 5 you can pass any parameter here but there is a possibility that this particular method may generate an exception called as arithmetic exception how can you say that one because I have written this particular throws arithmetic exception at the time of defining this particular method we can assume that this particular method may generate arithmetic exception because of that we should have an associated try block so wherever we have called it we should have a try block and we should have an associated cache block over here so this is how actually we used to uh, we use this particular throws keyword to handle the exceptions in java here so in this case uh, it will not generate an error but if the value of uh, b or you can say second parameter is zero it will generate this particular exception that is caught exception and so and so here now it will not generate an error because uh, 10 comma 5 so 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2 2 will be displayed here but if the value of uh, b or a second parameter is 0 you will get this output in this case now there is one more very important keyword in uh, java where we we use this in uh, exception handling for example we want to throw an exception explicitly in the previous case what has happened is if the value of b is equal to 0 
a divided by 0 that or you can say that the anything divided by 0 will generate an arithmetic exception so it will uh, implicitly throws an exception here but if you want to throw an exception explicitly we don't want the uh, to wait uh, the system to throw an exception we want to throw an exception by our, ourselves in such case we can use this particular throw keyword so throw keyword is usually used within a method not along with the method in the previous case we have used this particular throws keyword while de defining this particular method but throw keyword is used within a method in this case that's a very important point you need to remember and one more very important thing is we cannot throw multiple exceptions using throw keyword throws keyword throws keyword you can list multiple number of exceptions saying that a particular method may throw those particular exceptions we can uh, write one exception two exceptions any number of exceptions you can list out over there but in this case you can throw only one exception explicitly in this case uh, we will take a very simple example again uh, you can see here uh, i have added this particular method but i have not added the exception list here okay so but what i did here is whenever the value of b is equal to zero i am cross-checking this particular condition if this particular condition is equal or you can say satisfied that uh, b is equal to zero rather than waiting for the system to throw an exception the we are throwing an exception explicitly here with the help of throw keyword uh, next you need to instantiate this uh, uh, exception so in this case the exception is arithmetic exception so throw new new is for instantiating an uh, object here in this case it's an anonymous object next arithmetic exception so arithmetic exception is uh, thrown in this case so explicitly we are throwing here whenever the value of b is equal to 0 if the value of b is not equal to 0 it will go to else block and then the value of uh, a divided by b will be displayed successfully over here so in the previous case implicitly an exception was throws whenever the value of b is equal to 0 that is the denominator is equal to 0 in this case uh, we are throwing an exception explicitly without waiting for the system to throw an exception in this case when it comes to main part of the method uh, in this main part as usual whenever wherever you have called that particular method you should have a try block and uh, for the particular exception you have thrown you should have an associated cache block in this case in this case arithmetic exception was thrown so we should have an cache block to handle this particular arithmetic exception here now what will happen in the output is the first this particular uh, cache block statement will be printed that is caught exception uh, because uh, the second parameter is 0 second parameter is b and b is equal to 0 here we have thrown an exception so it will go to this particular cache block caught exception will be displayed and then the inbuilt or can say system defined message will be displayed to you and then your own message will be displayed here the parameter what you have passed while throwing an exception explicitly in this case so this is a very simple uh, uh, can say that uh, the program which will demonstrate the use of throw keyword in java here now uh, uh, quickly we will try to understand the difference between throw and throws keyword uh, throw keywords is the use used for explicitly throwing an exception and uh, which is used within a method and uh, throws keyword is used to uh, list the list of uh, exceptions which may be thrown by the uh, method in that case uh, throw is followed by an instance that is a new keyword is used because we have to instantiate an uh, exception class throws keyword is followed by exception class that is a list of exceptions we have to write after throws keyword throw is used within a method throws is used along with the method signature we cannot throw multiple number of exceptions explicitly with the help of throw keyword it is possible to declare multiple number of exceptions using throws keyword in this case so these are some of the differences uh, with respect to, to throw and throws keyword in java whenever you handle an exception over here so in this video we have discussed what is throw and throws keyword how can we use throw and throws keyword in handling exceptions in java i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching